There we go. Hmm. Wait. Good enough? Yeah, but wait. Come on, get out of here. So Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Salty Tales channel, so we're going to be talking about the most expensive salt in the world. This is the Popo Bamboo Salt. It is made in Korea, and it is crazy the way they make it, guys. They, get, they just get sea salt, put it into bamboo trunks, and cook it for nine times a thousand degrees just to get all the minerals and the stuff from the bamboo into the salt. And the result is supposed to be amazing. I pay $30 for this little bit, two ounces of salt. So that means that a pound will be about 240 and a kilo will be about $520, guys, if you go by these prices. Maybe you can get a cheaper somewhere else, I don't know. The thing is that this salt is supposed to be amazing, but I'm not gonna be just trying this salt. We're gonna be comparing the most amazing, most expensive, craziest salt in the world with the one that we always love, the Maldon salt. Maldon salt is amazing. It have that crackly bite into the steak. It's a finishing salt. It's always work. And this one is supposed to be the best salt ever, so let's give it a try. It smells weird, guys. It smells like a... Uh... Fart. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell like fart. It is it is like rotting egg or some weird stuff, guys. Let's let's give it a little try. Let me just get a little grain here and try it. Boil eggs yolks. Ah! And you don't like it. I hate the eggs. <laughs> Suck it up, buttercup. So what I'm gonna do is this, guys. I'm gonna run three tests with this salt. First, I'm gonna put it in the cracker and I'm gonna crack it up and put it on my steak and put it to brine for at least two hours, all right? That's gonna be the first one. The second one, and the reason I'm, I'm, I'm just cracking this thing is because they are like little rocks. This thing won't stay anywhere. There is no way you can put it on a steak and wait for it to stay there because it's gonna fall. So we're gonna crack it. That's not a problem at all. The second steak, we're gonna just crack it too and cook it as if it was any other steak. And the last day we're gonna do it with the maldon salt and see if that makes any difference at all. We know the maldon salt is amazing, so that's gonna be like our control, right? And here we have them both. I mean, the one with the maldon is amazing. It looks beautiful. The other one... The other one is intense, this thing, yeah. Thanks God this is not a wild steak or whatever, you know, but guys, it might be great for your teeth. <laughs> We're gonna light up the grill and we're gonna leave these guys there resting just with the salt on top. We're not gonna use anything else, just salt for this experiment. Let them rest in there for at least 20 to 30 minutes and then we're gonna cook them all together. All right, here we have the brine. Let's put the brine first. By the way, I'm cooking this in the reverse sear method, meaning I'm gonna cook it first and then we're gonna sear. The one with the salt, the expensive salt, and the last one is gonna be the one with the Maldon salt. All right, Mr. Joy, I hear you, man, no worries. Yes, it's ready. Let's take it out. And now, if you have one of these grills or maybe you wanna buy one of these grills, I'm gonna teach you how to do the reverse here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the diffuser that is right there in the middle, and we're just gonna sear the whole steaks right on over the fire with the fire like ripping hot. That's the whole idea, ripping hot, guys. Check them out, look at that beautiful thing. All right, this is the one with the Maldon salt. Let's take it out. Let's check the other ones. Wow, look at the drippings there, man. Wow, this is delicious. And the last one. Look at the juices. My goodness, I'm losing all the juices here. It's looking beautiful. That's the brine one. And just like that, we have all three steaks ready. The juices on this thing are amazing. I want you to check this out, look. <laughs> the juices are crazy, guys. But now we're gonna allow them to rest for 10 minutes. We want all those juices to fall back into the meat so we don't lose them when we cut into it. We're just gonna give it about 10 minutes and then we cut them. Right, guys here we have all the steaks a b and c a is going to be the controller b is going to be the one with the salt and c is going to be the brine one 
and it's time for us to give it a try and see if it makes any difference, it's if it's better, if it's worse. What's up with this thing, man? I don't smell anything. That's one thing that really caught my attention. No? No. No more fart. Hey, let's go for number eight. Let's do it. Like always. Crackling. What else are you going to mm -hmm. Beautiful flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. Meaty Amazing. flavor. Yep. Georgie, your turn will come. Oh my god, he was waiting for all the juices that were dripping. He was, like, licking, he was licking the juices down there, man. There's like a pool of juices here. Number B, guys. Number B. Nothing. Yeah. Just meat flavor, literally. It, it's, Is it's, this the one you brine? It's like... No, that's that's the one with the salt on top. On top. This one wow. is like... It needs more salt. Uh-huh. It doesn't have enough salt. Now, let's see the other one that we brine. Here we have number C. Let's go for it. Let's go. Lacking salt. That's all I can taste. Exactly. Lock of salt. It Nothing like have... ah, rotten egg. Like ah. no, no. Nothing. It doesn't taste like anything like that. Okay. It doesn't smell like fart. Nothing. It is real good, but it needs more salt. I mm -hmm. think I put too little salt on it. Let's finish it with the salt. Let's, Let's see what happens. Let's finish. Let's go with the one that we put the salt on. Let's finish with the salt. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, Miss Ninja. And now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. So, oh, now it's smelly. Is he? All yeah. right, salt finish. Let's go. Okay. I mean, you, you get the flavor of the salty there. It's not disgusting. No. But, um, but it doesn't enhance it either. You need more salt. I think that's going to be a result. You shouldn't spend, if you're going to spend 30 bucks on it, make sure you only cook one step because it needs a lot of salt. <laughs> yes, it does. And uh, I, I don't recommend that, man. Go with the madun. The madun is amazing. The madun is great. It's or any one. sea salt. You know what happened? It's like the Himalayan salt. It has so many minerals and so many things inside sure. that I feel that you have to put more salt on it for you to taste the flavor of the salt or for it to enhance the flavors of the meat. It tastes okay, but this one tastes bad. Well, guys, let me ask you something. Did I make you hungry? Did he? If we made you hungry, you had to hit us with the like and you Not can save some money so you don't have to buy that expensive salt in there. Share with yeah. your friends, guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this salt? I don't think it's worth it at all. Maybe you guys try it. Have you? Have you if, tried? If you, ever, if you ever heard about all the medicinal good things about it and you try it and it worked for you let me know down there in the comments for me for cooking i don't think it's worth it at all but i leave it for you guys down there in the comments you let me know and the shout out chair is starting next week we, we just came out with a video and you guys haven't had any time to comment down there yet so put your name down if you want next week it. we're going with the shout out chair that's all for today but remember that i love you bye